This is the only school most of these children have ever known. A mobile school called Penpath travels from village to village in Kandahar province in southern Afghanistan. There are no classrooms or desks, but there is a will to learn. It is very nice here and I'm learning a lot. I just wish that the schools for my elder sister, cousins and other older girls would open again. The makeshift classroom is carried on a motorbike, with a TV set and books with subjects taught by eight volunteers. Schools are scarce in these remote areas, and across Afghanistan, around three and a half million children, mostly girls, don't go to school. If they want long-lasting peace and stability in Afghanistan, and if the country is to stand alongside the rest of the world, all the attention should be given to education especially in the areas where there have been no schools in the last 20 years. Back in March, the Taliban ordered schools for girls above the sixth grade to close. For girls living in remote areas, the first challenge is not having access to a school. Then, as they get older, not being allowed to attend one. These villagers support the project, but convincing a deeply conservative society to allow their daughters to study in school isn't always welcomed. But there are differing voices. We are very happy that boys and girls are able to study here. I think the government must reopen all schools until the 12th grade for both boys and girls. It's their Islamic right, and it should be given to them. The project has its limits but the founder hopes it will play a role, however small, in helping the next generation. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.